Hi everyone, this video is based on CC examination. Before we begin with CC examination, we need to enable the grading system, for which we need to go to administration, settings, and in general settings, we need to enable the grading system right here to be CC. Once we have enabled the grading system, we can update it and move ahead with the examination module. We can find the examination module under academics. So here under examination module, we find the option to create an exam. And before creating an exam, we need to do certain basic settings regarding the examination. Before we start with the examination module, let's have a look at the examination pattern. In CC examination pattern, there are two types. Scholastic setting consists of FAs and essays, whereas scholastic consists of co-curricular activities. In scholastic settings, there are two FAs and one essay. These FAs have a weightage of 10 each. Let's say 10 FA plus 10 FA. Whereas the essay has a weightage of 30. So let's have it as 10 FA plus 10 FA plus 30 essay. This sums up to be 50. So we're given weightage of 50 for one exam category. Let's have the same pattern for another exam category which will have a total weightage of 100. For co-scholastic setting, the students will be marked using grading patterns. We need to remember that the scholastic settings are 9 point grading system whereas co-scholastic settings are 5 point grading system. So these are some examples. These generally differs with institution. So let's move ahead with the settings in the examination module. So settings that we need to do is the set grading level. So let's begin with set grading levels. So under set grading levels, we can choose a particular batch and have a grading pattern for this batch or we can have a common one. So I've chosen an option common and I've created a grading pattern right here. I can select a particular batch let me choose a particular batch say grade 3 and that batch i have created grades here so i have given the name of the grade to be a plus and i'm giving a minimum score of 90. let's say i'm giving a credit point of 9 and i'm going to save it the same way i have created grades with minimum score and credit point if required i can provide a description as well so you can have grading levels for a particular batch or have a common one for all the batches. So once the grading level is done, we can move ahead with CC settings. Ranking levels and class designations are not applicable for CC examination. So let's move with CC settings. In CC settings, the first setting that we will be doing is the basic settings. In the basic setting, let's have a look at the CC grade set. Under CC grade set, we are going to create the grade set for co-scholastic grade sets. So I need to create the grade set here and under which I am going to create the grading system. To create a new one, I can go for the option new here. And here I can give the name for the grade set that I want to create. Once I have created it, under which I can create the grade points by going for the option add grades where I can give a grade name say A with a grade point 5. For course scholastic grading system as I have already mentioned it's a 5 point grading system I'm giving a maximum of 5 as a grade point. The same way I've given a grade B and I've given a grade point 4. I can create such grading sets right here. I can create few more if I want to assign the same course scholastic grade set for other batches once the CC grade set is completed, we can move ahead with CC exam category. So I have created two exam category. To create a new one, you can go for the option new. You need to give the name of the exam category and the description. Since there is going to be two exam categories, I have created two exam categories, say term 1 and term 2. The next 
setting that we have is the CC weightages. Under CC weightages, I have to create the weightages here by going for the option new. And I'm going to give the weightage as 10. As I already mentioned, I'm going to give a weightage as 10 for N type FA for the exam category term 1. So for term 1, I'm going to have 2 FAs and 1 essay. The same way, I am going to have 30 essay for term 1 and 30 essay for term 2. But while creating CC weightages, I'm going to create only one FA. So here I've created one FA for term one and one FA for term two. The same way I've created one essay of weightage 30 for term one, another essay for, of weightage 30 for term two. Once we've created the weightages, we can assign the weightages under assign weightage. Now we need to choose the course here. Let me choose the course grade 3. And you can see the weightages that is created in the previous setting displayed here. Now I can assign these weightages for this particular course and this particular batches. So I'm going to assign all the weightages and I'm going to save. So once the weightage has been assigned, let's move ahead with the course scholastic settings. In course scholastic setting, we need to create course scholastic items here. Here you find an option to create a new one under which we will have to give the name of the observation group. So here you're going to create the observation groups. Let me say I want to create a group called thinking skills as one of the course scholastic group in my institute. So I'm giving the skills name here. I'm giving a header name and a description. And I want to choose one of the grading set that I've already created. So as of in the setting, the grading set that I've created for the course scholastic grade, I can choose the one here. And I can choose what kind of course scholastic group is it? Is it a course scholastic activity or is it a course scholastic area? I can choose them and save. So this is how I can create an observation group. Once I've created the observation group under which I can create observations by going for new option again and you can see I have given a detailed description of my observation. So under that you have to once again create descriptive indicators. You can create as many indicators as you want. These descriptive indicators can be displayed in the report as well. So you can go for new indicator and create a new one by providing a description for that descriptive indicator. This is how an observation group and the other categories under which can be created. You can create as many observation groups as you want. These are just for a reference. All you have to do is assign this course scholastic item for the course or the batch that you want to go for. Let me say I want to assign this for a particular batch. I'm going for assign. I'm going to choose a particular class here as grade 3 and I'm going to assign the observation groups here. Let me say I want to go for two observation groups. I'm going to save it here. So now I have assigned the observation groups. Now let's move ahead with the course scholastic settings. So the first thing that we observe here is a formative assessment item option. So under this formative assessment item, you're going to create the formative assessment items. Let me say I'm going to have two FAs for each subject in an exam category. I'm going to create those exam categories. I'm going to create those FA groups right for this subject. I have created a new FA group by going for new FA group option and I have given the name of the subject. I have selected which FA group is it. I can go for FA1 and FA2. If it belongs to the exam category 1, I can choose the exam category from the drop down. If I want to change the calculation pattern, I can even choose the sum or the average and I can create it. The same way I am going to create two FA groups for one subject for one exam category. And as of I've created these groups, inside these groups, I'm going to create FA criteria by going for new FA criteria, where you need to list the name of the FA criteria and the description and the maximum mark. 
and a formula key. Here you can see the FA group cancellation that is there. Once we create such FA groups, we'll have to create these FA criteria and you can see these descriptive indicators that we need to create. Once the setting is done, let's move for the assign FA items. So here under assign FA items, we need to choose a particular class. Let me choose a class, say grade 3, and I'm going to choose a subject, say English, and I can assign the FA criteria for both my exam category term 1 and term 2. So I'm going to assign the one for English and I'm going to save. The same way I can assign for other subjects as well, say Max. I'm going to select the Max FA groups alone and save. And for Science, I'm going to assign the FA groups Science and I'm going to save. Once the assigning task is completed, we can move ahead with examination. So we can move exam management and here I can create an exam by selecting a particular class. Say, let me go for grade 3 and here for grade 3, I'm going to create an exam by going for the option new. There is an already existing option called co-scholastic result entry. So once the co-scholastic examinations are completed, you can enter the results right here. So to create a new exam for the scholastic option, you're going for the option new and I'm going to enter the name of the exam. Let me call it as term 1 grade 3 and I'm going to choose the CC exam category say term 1 and I'm going to say here I'm going to schedule the examination by providing a maximum mark and a minimum mark once I've entered the maximum and the minimum mark we can select the start time and end time for the particular examination so that the examination can be scheduled successfully once this is done we can move ahead with publishing the exam schedule. So right now we've selected the start time and end time for all three subjects. I'm going to save the schedule. Now once the examination is created, let me say I want to publish the exam schedule. I can go for the option publish exam schedules here. Let me say the examinations are completed and I'm going to enter the scores for the students. I can go inside, select the subject English. Here I can see there's an option where I can sort the students on the basis of their names. So when I select this option based on the alphabetical order, the student's name gets sorted out. Here I'm going to enter the score for the students. Let me enter the score for the student and I can save. So here you can find the grades that are automatically getting displayed based on the grades that we've created in the grade set. Once the exam scores are updated this way, we can enter the FA scores as well. So under FA score option, you can find there are two FAs that has been assigned. So I can choose one of the FA and enter the score for it. For both the students, you can select the name of the student and save it. So I'm going to do the same for all the subjects and all the FA criteria. So let me enter a score here and save it. So the same way I've entered these scores for other subjects as well. Once the grades are entered, you can publish the exam results by going for the option publish exam results. Now I've created two exams and I've published exam results for both the examination. You can enter your course scholastic result entries by going for this option. Here once the exams for course scholastic activities are completed, you can select the criteria and enter the score or the grade point for the student. So here I've selected a student I'm going to enter the grade point. You need to remember it's a 5 point grading system. You have to enter a grade point here of 5 and less than 5. So let me enter a score here. And for the other criteria as well. So 
so once i've entered the scores for these criteria and so we've done with the course scholastic result entries now we can go back to the report center and the examination so in the report center we have a separate cc reports right below so these are the ones that are not going to be applicable so let's go for cc reports and here now i can generate a report by going for generate report i'm going to choose the class say grade 3 i'm going to choose the batch and i'm going to generate a report let's select this option to view the schedule job so here you can see the status is running and it's a schedule job it will take few minutes now we can have a look at the student report by going for view student report and by selecting a particular batch say grade 2a and here you can see the report getting displayed for the student henry now when i select the student event here you can see the report is getting displayed for the student you can select a particular option by going for select term you can select an exam category it can be one of the exam categories and now you can view the scholastic areas now you can view the scholastic areas and take a pdf report or a csv report of it you can choose both the categories and you can see the course scholastic activity as well the score the student has secured you can take a pdf report or a csv report of it the next report that we have is a subject wise report you can choose a particular class say grade 3 and i'm going to choose a particular batch belonging to it and i can select a subject here it can be any subjects so i'm going to choose maths here i can filter the students based on the category or gender i can select anything of the drop down here you can see for both the students who belong to this particular batch so here you can see the fa scores and the sa scores you can take a pdf report or a csv report of it let's move to the consolidated report under consolidated report once again you can sort the students based on the categories and genders so i'm choosing the class i'm choosing the batch and you can also sort the report based on the assessment group in case if you want to get a customized report based on any of the assessment groups here you can select one among them from the drop down it can be a individual assessment group or it can be a group of assessment groups or it can be meant for a term or a category here you can view the scores secured by the students for the particular subject and the grades for it you can take a report of it right here so apart from the consolidated report we have a batch wise student report where we can generate a new batch wise report by going for new select a particular class a grade 3 select the batch and generate a report now So now you can see the stages that it's in queue it takes a few minutes and once the status becomes success we can download the report here So now you can see the status success let's download the file here let me open the report and you can find a file for both the students who belong to that particular batch let me open the file of student and here you can view the report of the student so now you can see the report of the student nevin his grades the scores that he has secured for both the term and the overall score with the grade point with the cgpa as well as the course scholastic areas and the grades he has secured for it so this is how the report of the student can be viewed after it's been downloaded from the browser so now that's all about cc examination thanks for listening